Hey everybody, it's Dave here with Alum House Sound. We're going to take a quick look at a question that was sent over uh, by a customer, and he also sent a copy of the scene. And so we're just going to look at it real quick, let you see what I'm seeing as I dive in to do a little bit of troubleshooting. So this says, uh, we've got a separate room for our live streaming and use a separate mix from the sanctuary as we have had better results. The recent problem I have is being unable to control the volume of some channels, such as the bass, where I'm unable to mute it, reduce the volume, but sometimes I'm able to increase its volume surprisingly. I've been trying different settings but cannot solve it. The same applies to the ambient sound. The wireless mics seem to be more controllable. The Matrix 5 and 6 can be muted, but not the mix bus for the musicians and not the keyboard or bass. The keyboard and bass are being used as examples for the rest of the inputs because I can play them without anyone around as I try to find a solution. All right, so let's dive into the scene. Now, one of the things I do know about this is that uh, he he is set up with over here on the right. So we're looking at an X32 edit. And over here on the right-hand side, we do have uh, a mix bus one and two set up for all of the... Uh, the band, and then mix bus three and four is set up for vocals. He also has mix bus down here. Uh, what is that? 14, 15, 13, these two down here. Uh, these are set up for ambient mics and they run a matrix. So all of these go into the matrix to be able to feed their live stream. And what they're saying is that they want to have all of these set up as pre fader so they could make small adjustments of the instruments or vocals going into each bus and that's separate from the house. So we don't want any of those buses to be a post fader mix. So first thing I want to do though is uh, let go over and check out the matrices. So if I go to matrix over here and I can see that matrix five and six are set up as their live stream output. Uh, interesting to note that they have their volume turned down minus 3.5. Uh, DB, but that's a different question. I can ask him about that later. Uh, when you talk about no control, I always want to make sure that they're set up properly. So when I think about this, they have buses for musicians, bus for singers, and then bus for the ambient mics. And those all should be pushing into this matrix. What we should not have going into the matrix is the house mix. So if I come over and I click on main left and right, and then I come up here to sends. What I do see is that this main left and right is being sent into the, uh, the matrix for the live stream. And so that's going to be an issue right there. They're getting a signal or a sound that's influenced by the house, which means they probably don't have all the control that they want. So if it were me, I would turn that down all the way. And then we're going to go and search out the, uh, the mix buses. So I'm going to come over here to find some inputs. I'm going to come over here and click on this here, which is sends on fader. And I would just want to look and see what we've got going on here. So this is set up post fader going into that matrix. If I go to the next one, that one's set up going into the matrix and then down here, ambient mics also set up going into the matrix. So that's good. Then I'm going to click over here and I'm going to come over and select an input. So he mentioned keyboard and the bass, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this and I'm going to find keyboard and I see pre fader, pre fader, pre fader. So that's good. So keyboards are good pre fader going into uh, that band bus. I'm going to come over here to drums. That's pre fader. And when I came over here, I clicked through these pretty quick before I started this recording. Acoustic guitar is good. Bass. Look at bass. Bass is set up as post fader. And so that means that even if they turn, you know, as they, as they make adjustments to this bass guitar going into their bus, which feeds the matrix for their live stream, uh, it's still going to be influenced by the main input going to the main fader. So I want to make that pre fader right there. And actually I can remove global in case that messes with anything. So that's pre fader there. 
Let's look at electric guitar. Uh, what is this guitar? So I'm just clicking through here. I don't really know what all these people are. So, all right, here's a person it looks like. So this is going into the vocal bus. And he said that these seem to be working properly. The last thing I want to do then is come down here to the next layer of inputs. And we'll see. So this one here, lectern mic. Lectern mic is post fader, meaning that's going to influence what goes into this. I, th I think they want that pre fader uh, because that's what they're trying to do is have individual control. Uh, handset mic, not sure what that is. Laptop, laptop probably also should be pre fader so that they can manage that all on their own. We got an organ mic, organ mic. See, I think just all of these should be pre fader. Here's keyboards. So this is a different set of keyboards. Notice how that's post fader. Um, but the keyboard uh, left and right would most likely be going into the band bus anyway. That is set up at pre fader, even though it's turned down. So we'll keep going. This is a looks like Stacy mic, vocal mic, probably. So I'm not going to mess with those. But now we get to an ambient mic. Well, let's see. Ambient, sure, ambient. And so this ambient mic is set up pre fader, and that's going into the ambient ones here. So that's good. Maybe this is a pair. Uh, I'm not sure. 28, 29. Congregation left. Let's see. Is pre-fader going into that bus? And this is probably congregation right. And that one's post-fader. So we would want that one to be pre-fader as well. And that's all 32 channels there. So I think those issues right there in themselves, having the, the main left and right mix going into that live stream matrix, it's kind of like double dipping. And then they also had a couple of their inputs set up uh, incorrectly, I, I dare say, going into their buses to give them the full control that they want. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. This is just a quick dive into this one little scenario, but there are many people like this out there that just need a little bit of guidance, a little bit of extra help, and then they get their scene locked in and working really well. Hey, if you need help, feel free to uh, go to my website. It's linked in the description below, and you can fill out the contact card on the website, and that's a way to start a conversation outside of YouTube. I can do this for you and help you out uh, and get you on the road and get you up and running to make some great music. But again, uh, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.